new computer. Um, I think this is like one year old, one and a half years old. Someone's definitely been in here. And I put the wrong screws in the wrong place. I'm going to show you something. Yes. This is, I'm going to show you the importance of making sure you put your screws back in the right place. So it's not very detectable here, but actually they got my circle. Can I turn my circle on? Yeah, I can turn my circle on. Can't see it. Doesn't help. So you can see this bump that's right here. Hurt, hurt, there we go. I'm making this very difficult to see. Okay, start this over. All right, let's talk about the importance of making sure you remember where your screws go. This right here is someone putting the wrong screw in the wrong place. This right here is somebody really putting the wrong screw in the wrong place. So yeah, if you're ever gonna take your computer apart to do anything with it, make sure you track where the screws go and make sure you put them back in the right place to save yourself from this happening. Because if you don't put them back in the right place, let's say you put them, like there's a screw that comes up here to hold the keyboard for some weird reason, and it sticks up proud like this, and, this, and the bezel on this, on your screen isn't large enough, you go to close this, instantly you need a new screen, so. It's another tech tip for the day. All right, so let's get this thing apart. Let's take a look at this. The customer brought this in because the hard drive is not being detected. So first things first, we're going to, let's start it up and see what it's, see what it's actually doing here. Oh, well, all right. Let's put that out of the way. All right, so when we get into the BIOS here, we can kind of see, <laughs> you don't have to comment any more than that, Carrie, and I catch your drift. So we can see right here in the center, it's saying no storage devices are present. So I don't believe that is a, like, a, let me check here. We're going to check to make sure that the SATA controller is enabled. Yep. Ooh. This is Optane, which could be the problem. That the Optane cache has to be reconfigured. If that's the case, that's going to suck. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into... I was going to take it apart. But before I take it apart, I'm actually going to check to see if I can just load up into Hiren's Boot CD and then see if we can see anything there. This is a pretty fast computer, not going to lie. So, yeah, the drive is being detected. Hmm. And it's all there. More than likely what happened is the... The Intel Optane partition got corrupted. I know at one point I actually kept... The... Uh, Intel Optane controller. Yeah, so when I come look at the BIOS, there should be. Yeah, I don't think I'm able to do anything from in here. Exit BIOS, reboot the system, reinstall the operating system. Yeah, well, I don't want to do that.
All right. Uh, I think this is a 20 series, Emily. If I had to guess, this is going to be a 2060, 2070. It doesn't tell me in here. Because this is a 10th gen, so that would be in the, the 20 series. Yeah, somebody did something to this thing. All right, so let's look at this. So we were talking about screw length before. You can see how long that screw is. Like that's already a pretty long screw. And that screw is pretty long. And you can see there's a shorter screw that's supposed to be in there that pretty sure that's what's supposed to go along the whole front. And so that one is even like, that's even a different length. So we already have three different lengths of screws here. Yeah. So more than likely all these long screws are supposed to be at the back. And then these short screws are supposed to be at the front. And they didn't do that. Yeah, so many different, like, oh yeah, this one here isn't even attached to anything. So they just guessed where the screws go. Yeah, see, there's another long one. There's no rhyme or reason to where stuff is in this. All right, so when you're taking this apart, I guess let me kind of dive into this. This is a ROG, so an Asus ROG G512LW-WS74. So we're going to go ahead and pull this apart. One of the things you really need to be careful with this is this. This is an RGB bar that is actively like on, and there's going to be a cable connecting it. So we're just going to pop that corner like that. I do not, Emily. Unless this is one of the ones that has like the, oop, forgot a screw. If this is one of the ones that has a, just like a pressure contact little plate. All right. Yep, and there's our screw. Or there's our, our RGB connector. So there's two of them. Just gotta make sure to get those back in there. That's interesting, all right. So here's our, here's our hard drive. Pretty sure once I pull this apart, this is just gonna say Optane. We got a little heat shield on it. Oh, it's bringing the sticker with it. No! As I'm picking, because I don't, Emily. Yeah, that's all I need to see right there. The, it's a, there's a little Intel logo, and I'm pretty sure this is going to say Intel Optane. So, let's put this back in there. Unfortunate. But we're now in a situation where I'm going to try and recover that that Optane partition. But if I cannot, then the user data is gone. Here, you know, here's what we're going to do. We are going to move over to my backup rack. We're going to take this apart again, and we're going to put this computer, I'm going to put the, the hard drive for this into one of my little external racks. 
is around here somewhere. And we are going to see if after installing the rapid storage driver into my backup rack, I can see the files from this. Otherwise, we just replace the hard drive. Because it looks like I was wrong. It's not actually reading this. Yeah, this thing isn't even being read. All right, I'm just gonna go off and say this thing is uh, is, is bad because I, I can't get this thing to read at all. Got to install a hard drive in this. Yeah, just wait for like wait for Gamers Nexus, wait for LTT, and wait for Jays to put out some stuff. Uh, hardware and Box is another one. Uh, wait for all of them to put out videos on it with like benchmarks. Like Gamers Nexus is probably gonna be the best to look at. All right. Now, again with this one, we're gonna install an SSD. This is the one where the SSD in it has, hasn't failed, but it has, um, this is the one that has the Optane memory, Optane module on the SSD, and the Optane module has failed. So no matter what I do, I can't get the Optane module to read like even using the Optane software, like did not read at all. So this is just, this is kind of part two of this. We're gonna install, install the SSD. They are, and they don't exist anymore. So there would be no reason to try and acquire one. Even in like the high end server sector, they no longer exist. Which is sad because they had their place. They really did. So we're just going with a regular 970 EVO Plus. Now I have to remember when I'm taking this apart. Make sure we got all our screws out, yep. So where this comes apart, it's gonna come apart right there. And there are two ribbon cables that go to this RGB bar that's down here. So we just have to be, you can see as I lift them up, it's these two RGB cables right here. We're just gonna click, click. I mean, technically, you know what? This is actually kind of nice. I'm not gonna, I don't have to do anything. I'm just gonna do this. Go ahead and pull this out of here. This is the bad one. Put the screw back in for this. Actually, we'll use that slot even. Yeah. Uh, Apple, now well, you can't say Apple sucks. Like, as, like, Apple does do some really crappy stuff. I don't like their products. I want to be very clear about that. But, like, what they're doing with their, with their integrated SOC, where, with the, with the M, the M1, M2, M3, et cetera, like, everyone's going to go to that. Whether you like it or not, we're going to end up in a, in a world where, like this, no longer exists in this form. You're gonna start ending up where you have motherboard manufacturers where they'll like, okay, let's say you wanna buy this motherboard, right? So you go to their website and you say, you know what, I wanna get the, the Asus ROG Strix 
like let's say it's the 1600k compatible socket and what you're going to have is you're going to have an integrated cpu so you're going to have a motherboard that has has memory modules in it maybe that like that are already integrated so you're going to say okay i want the the i7 board so you're going to get an i7 board that's already has an i7 integrated into it and then the next question is going to be okay do you want 16 32 or 64 gigs of memory and there's going to be incrementally more expensive boards based on that so when it comes time to say upgrade this you're not just going to be able to rip out your cpu and put a new cpu in there you're going to have to buy a whole new motherboard and pay for your memory all over again that's where we're headed like it or not Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you ever have a question or concern about your computer and you just want to see if you can get an answer, swing by my Twitch channel. I'm usually there live. I can either myself or one of my community members be able to answer your question. Um, so stop by, hang out, and maybe learn a thing or two.